What's up guys, Terry of Gaming here, back today with another video, and today's video we are talking about gameplay improvements in PES 2021. We've unearthed some information, and it turns out there could be a difference in the gameplay. Let's get into it. Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, I play Master League, I play full manual gameplay, and I give you PES news, so if you enjoy that stuff, consider subscribing, give this video a like so you can get more of this content. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, so PES 2021 is about eight days away, so we can change. And we've heard repeatedly leading up to this season update, it's going to be an update of the 2020 gameplay, and we're not going to see major wholesale changes as they're focusing on PES 2022 on the Unreal Engine. However, Robbie Wan, and let me bring him up again. I brought him up last video. He is a PES kind of community manager, I believe, but he's not from Brazil. I said Brazil in the last video. He's from Ecuador. So he tweets in Spanish and English, and he did a really cool thing yesterday. He actually answered some questions for some fans, just kind of um, back and forth. He posted some stuff about PES, people asked him questions, and he responded. Now, we never get communication from Konami, so this is excellent stuff. I think he just kind of did it. You know, he, he's been, just from looking at his account, He's been a Pez guy, like a regular Pez fan before he got hired by Konami. So I think he definitely understands what the community is going through and what the community wants to know. So let's discuss some of the things he's actually brought up that he's confirming basically that will be in Pez 2021. All right, so first things first, as we know, he, um, I do have this interview that he did that we spoke about in my in one of my previous videos. I'll link that in the description below where he basically says, uh, they're not afraid, Konami's not afraid of PES 2021 being too similar to PES 2020 because, and I'll quote this again, they will find, um, let's see, the truth is that when people start playing it and watching the game from September 15th, they will find that it is not what they thought of as a copy with only changes with an update in between. A lot of gameplay issues have been polished. I speculated in my video that I have no idea what these issues are and that could be a very vague statement. While he doesn't clarify everything here, he does get, does he doesn't make it crystal clear. He does give you a bit more clarity on what's going on. Um, he's tweeting here. I mean, I translated everything, obviously. First things first here, he says, someone asked him, I believe, about the gameplay adjustments or what's going on. How do you feel about it? And he says, I'm liking the gameplay adjustments. Again, we're kind of speculating, but that should be confirming there are changes. Um, two, just say going more and more about this. Much more balance this year, I have to admit, but he says he has to admit he did like 2020. For that reason, it's the game he's played most since 2015. So he liked the game anyway, so he's not coming from a very critical place. Obviously, he works on Konami, so even if he didn't like the game, obviously, he might go that way. But he does say this, so interesting to hear. Then he goes into, and it's interesting, responsiveness. So he says the response action is more fluid in response to what you want to do with the controller. The game time is a second, is half a second slower, so it leaves you with a good time, with good timing to do what you want. So, with this, he's basically saying the game is far more responsive. One of the issues that people have had with PES 2020 has been in in Konami's bid for realism. Um, they've they've made it the inputs don't work as quickly as they should. It reminds people of PES 2014, where you press pass, but it takes time for the player to wind up the pass, which is realistic in terms of how football is, but could be annoying to use in a video game when you're trying to just have a responsive experience. So um, this sounds like a good middle ground. If it's been improved, that's a good thing. Then he goes into the crashes, and this means collisions, basically. The collisions and dribbling have improved a lot. The player now, tr act now tries to avoid direct collision between bodies, and for dribbling, the right stick responds much faster. With good dribbling players, it's much more effective. So one of the biggest issues people have had with PES 2020 is not being able to dribble too easy for the CPU to defend you. Even come human opponents, it's just been hard to get past them. Unlike previous PESs where you could get past players a lot more easy, a lot easier. So if they've kind of um, boosted dribbling and the collisions as well, because we have a collision engine that works really well sometimes, but a lot of times you have crazy things happening when two bodies collide. Um, so if they fix that and they fix the dribbling, that's a really good thing. The collision engine is huge because it goes into the next point where he says, Someone asked him about the referees. Another issue, right? The referees are way too lenient in PES. They do not call um, the calls that they should. And a lot of times, yellows should be red or talking to should be yellows, regardless. He says here that these two improvements impact the referee decision. So he's basically saying that fixing some of the dribbling and the crashing between players, the collisions, 
the fact that it won't be happening as often or the dribbling is going to be more effective will affect the referee decisions anyway. So, because one of the biggest issues, as we said, with the referees has been even if two players crash, the game doesn't recognize it as a foul, right? So, if it's not recognized as a foul, you might feel frustrated, like, hey, this guy just ran me off the pitch. So, I guess if players are now avoiding contact, you have a chance where, you know, you won't have that issue anymore where a defender runs you over and it's no call because the body went to the, you know, the referee thought it was shoulder to shoulder or something. So, interesting, and these are concrete things which are good to see. It's not just speculation. I mean, it is speculation, but you know what I mean. Um, this is big news as well. As he says, the colors of the scoreboard and presentation are different. I love that. That's something that I've wanted in Pez. Very simple. It just gives you a different feel in Master League. And he's admitting that in different leagues, it's going to be different. But they maintain the same general design. But there are several that now have different colors. Now, he's saying this. Already, I know that the South American leagues have different ad boards and the AFC, the Asian Champions League does as well. I'm hoping that he means, you know, La Liga, the Prem, just has different colors. Different colors alone on that scoreboard would make such a difference. Obviously, if you're on PC, you got it all. And I'm planning to get this game on PC a little bit later in the year, uh, but I will start on PS4. But still, good to see. And then lastly, which I thought was cool as well, someone asked him, should we... How, you know, why should I get this update? And he literally says, yeah, please wait. The community can show you the game and then you can decide if it's something you want. And that's kind of my end sentiment with this game. A lot of people have been angry at Konami. There's a lot of back and forth about what should happen this year. As far as I'm concerned, watch me or anyone who plays on YouTube. See what you feel about the game. See if you feel it's worth it, if it's different, and then purchase it. There's no need to rush into it. Just, uh, you know, just decide, look at the information, then decide for yourself. All right, guys, so that's it. Let me know your thoughts on these gameplay fixes below. Interesting to see some concrete things being mentioned. We're about a week and a change away, so very exciting. Um, and I'm going to try to finish up this Racing Santander Master League before we get there. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Take care.